we're gonna be doing a voltage and ISC and VOC test on this solar panel. Thanks for watching, JW Solar USA. This is the Ellie Joy solar panel multimeter, the EY. 1600W which is the EY 1600 watts this is one of their latest machine the Elijoy just produced or testing solar panels solar panel multimeter you will see what this guy can do it comes with these wires with the MC4 connectors and it comes with the plug right here you can able to easily plug your panels and the other one is the same clips right here but with um, alligator clip on the other side here so I just want to make a quick video and show you what this um, Ellie Joy can do and um, here are the specifications on the back so is uh, solar panel multimeter the EY 1600 watts the ones I've seen is a 400 watts 600 watts and this is the 1600 okay and um, you can see it started measuring power from 5 volt to 1600 well from 5 watts to 1600 watt and the voltage gonna start from 12 volt to 60 volts the other ones I've seen they start from 5 volt to 60 volt so the voltage range is a 60 which is considered a 48 volt system and the current it measures from 0 to 60 amps the ones I've seen they measured from um, 0 to 35 amps so this is the uh, the latest one they had they just produce and it doesn't use any battery so it power by itself when you plug it into the the inverter uh, sorry to the panel and you will see exactly how this thing works so when you plug it in it's gonna turn on automatically and tells the name of the company or the meter the Ellie Joy and um, you have auto MPPT, it will check, track the uh, maximum power point tracking on your panels. Like every second, it goes back and, do and does it. It's gonna be completed test, and after that, you see the panel specification, even though the panel doesn't have any sticker on the back. Even if the panel doesn't have any sticker on the back, it will still read and tell you the specifications the ISC, the, the uh, VOC, the voltage. So it's gonna show you all that thing on that for, for that panel. You will know exactly what you're dealing with here. Just like when you have the stickers behind the panel. So um, I would like you to see it has a backlight button some people are saying you cannot read the screen you can push the backlight you can see but the screen is readable you can read anything you can do the manual MPPT you're gonna do it manually instead of doing auto which um, the just like a charge controller do the maximum power point tracking for you so this is what we have here today I'm gonna show you how this thing works. When and it has a over voltage protection, a reverse polarity uh, uh, protection as well. I'm gonna be plugging it to a panel which we already wired and see it's over 60 volt, and it's gonna say, uh, give gonna give you a warning that it's over voltage protection on that thing. Stay tuned. Now we just wired the panel and see I can able to use the functions here the backlight now the backlight is on 
Look at that. It's the uh, the P Max, which is the wax, uh, the the watt, and the VMP is not showing, and IMP. So they said IS, ISC for the amps doesn't show. Even if I push the auto MPPT, it's not gonna do it. It already passed the 60 volt. 60 volts. See, I'm pushing the button. It's not doing it. So just to tell you that um, the voltage over voltage protection is working. So this thing doesn't use any battery. You don't have to go and do anything, buy a new battery or whatever it is. So to replace. But whatever they said here, see guys, is fact. So we just proved that. It's a very light machine and the panels are pushing a 64 volt and um, it's protected. I can turn the back light again off. There you go. On, you can see nothing. So we're going to be seeing more tests as um, time goes on here. And right now, um, we have a cloudy day today and I'm going to be showing you guys maybe tomorrow what this machine can prove to us. Here goes the clouds. It's very, very cloudy and I don't want to put, give you guys a wrong reading. I want to make sure things are accurate. So it's, it has been raining all night and all the way this morning and it's still cloudy and gloomy stay tuned like and subscribe this is how we test solar panels with a solar panel multimeter right here the JW Solar USA the eJoy is Ellijoy EY 1600 stay tuned this is the machine like and subscribe Okay, this is the package that came with the Ellijoy EY 1600 watts solar panel multimeter. So this is how it looks like. And uh, we're going to go here and unzip it. It's kind of a nice case. Just like the seats they have on one of these newer cars. You know, like polyester or something. Well, it's kind of like a little bit hard to case nice color red and black contrast is really good okay we go ahead and open up the Ellie joy so these are the wires I was talking about here and comes with an alligator clip and an MC4 connectors a set of it so you can see here are the alligators alligator clips and there you go very strong spring retractable spring and it has some pins here you can insert to the end of the machine the multimeter and here are the mc4 connectors and it comes with a manual just uh, it's not even page so it's readable you can pause and read just like a little booklet so tells you the wires there and the case so put this one back here and we come to the machine itself. And um, fly. And this is how it looks like. So since I have the camera horizontal, now it's vertical. 
bright yellow it has like a kind of rough a little bit rough skin here for grip so you can slide off your hands it's a nice grip so if you have small hands then is it's kind of a little bit beefy like grabbing someone's wrist okay here goes the specifications on the back I already talked about so stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna be testing those this is where the probes goes just like look like a temperature group probes this one and it's a color coordinated or oriented you make any mistake in case you make a mistake by a reverse polarity putting the red to the black black to the red it will still protect itself and the screen is kind of awesome uh, brighter higher contrast glossy and when you turn the backlights on it's just really really uh, cool for nighttime or whatever QR code yep it's not bad you can get this one for ninety dollars I think I pay ninety two or ninety one dollars something like that and I'll put a link on the description below and uh, if you want one of these go to that uh, link and I will try um, uh, negotiate with the uh, guys so that you can be able to get uh, five percent or whatever percentage they're gonna give me for this guy when I talk to them this is not a test model it didn't send it for me I bought it myself with my money so I decided to take the um, 60 volt and um, with a 1600 watt like I said I've seen the 400 the 600 the 400 I saw the 600 800 and this is the 1600 I think this is one of the latest one so you can see for panels below 60 volts 1600 watts you can put a string as long as you didn't go um, 60 amps you didn't go over uh, uh, um, uh, 60 volts then you're good you can able to test your string with that without before bringing it to the charge controller well this is what it is Ellie joy solar panel multimeter like and subscribe JW solar USA thanks for watching nice case though I like the case a lot it's really cool durable